Hello. In this video, I'll introduce Papersway. Papersway is an implementation of paper WM style window management uh, using Sway or i3's IPC protocol. The idea is that we can enjoy paper WM style window management without having to use no. Um, so if you like how Sway is a stable base for the new world of Wayland, or you're already uh, using i3, then you might be interested in Papersway to bring an alternative paradigm of window management to those existing platforms. Let me demonstrate. We've got two windows here, and conceptually in Papersway, all the windows on a workspace are in a row. So if we open a third window here, my home directory and a file manager, this is now the third window. You can see here, at the bottom, the second and the third windows are visible. And if we move left and left again, now the first two windows are visible. First two windows of the three. So we can move along the row. If we add another window, let's just open an Emacs frame here. So now we have four windows in a row. And we can reorder them, you know, perhaps we want to work with the Emacs frame alongside the browser. So we can move it to the left. And now in the order of windows, we have browser, Emacs, terminal, file manager. We can move along like this. And that's the majority of the functionality, really. Um, it's designed that as you open and close windows, the row will rearrange itself in a way that's easy to work with. So here we're working with uh, the browser and, and with Emacs and suppose that, well, we need to open a terminal and we, we quickly run some command um, that's relevant to what we're doing. Um, you know, we've done, we're done with that and we close the terminal and we're back to where we were. Or over here, we're working with Emacs. We need to open another file manager instance. We check something out. We close the file manager and we're back to where we were. So it facilitates opening and closing uh, lots of windows, which is something that one typically does if you're already using a tiling window manager. And then something that we're doing here is we're hacking into the human mind's great ability to do spatial reasoning and remember where things are in relation to other things. So as we pop up a window here, we do some work and you know, whatever we need to do, we close it again our mind keeps track, naturally, of the relative position of these four windows and how, well, if I need to go back to my file manager, I need to go right. And if I want to go back to my browser, I need to go left and et cetera, et cetera. And it's a pretty cool model. Uh, we support multiple workspaces. There's convenient commands for that. So if we suppose that we, we realize that we need to take our browser um, into a new section of work, so we can do this. And now, as you can see, Workspace 2 was renamed to Workspace 3 to get it out of the way, All right? And then Workspace 2 is now occupied by this browser window. If we go back to Workspace 1, we have the same arrangement of Windows, Emacs, Terminal, File Manager as before. And now over on Workspace 2, we just have Firefox. Open a terminal, um, open Emacs, and see we've got uh, a row immediately being established. Sometimes you don't need the full height of your screen for a window, and so it is possible, like with Papersway, to absorb windows into the columns on either side. So if we do an absorb to the right here, the Emacs window that was to the right is implicitly pulled into this column. So we can now, we now have two windows. We open another Emacs uh, frame and it becomes part of the same column, but we can scoot it out to the right. So we now have these three columns uh, and all the rearrangement works. So we can move this column to the left. And now we have things in this order. Move this column to the right, to the right again. 
and now we have browser, Emacs, and our multi-column. That's the core features. It's straightforward, hopefully uh, easy to understand, and I think it's less effortful to use than i3 Sway style manual tiling. Um, it ha makes sure that you don't end up with a whole load of narrow columns on the screen, which can happen. Uh, if you just keep opening windows, that's what happens by default with Sway and i3. Uh, and it's pretty smooth when it comes to opening and closing windows. I mean, if I close this one here, this right-hand column becomes a single column again. We open another, and it's just dropped to the right. So now, oop, same colors, so a bit difficult to distinguish. So I'll close one there. So now I've got browser, Emacs, Emacs, file manager, absorb to a column. Close this one, okay, now open a new one. That's, that's pretty much it.